got some strings. Today I'm going to show you how to sight in a, a hunting sight, a, a standard four pin, fixed pin hunting sight. So I just took this out of the package and the first thing I do whenever I do that is I will place an arrow on the bow, knock it, line up down the string, down the arrow shaft, and I'll move the gang adjustment on the sight for the left and right to get the pins just on the outside of the string. That seems to be where, where most bows want to end up. So that's where I start, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to let us become fairly close with our first shot. Um, now as far as up and down goes, I just leave it where it is out of the box. It doesn't look like it's too high, it doesn't look like it's too low. Um, there's no real way to eyeball the height on these. So basically you know, we're going to start up at 10 yards on a big target, so our height isn't going to matter. Even if we're a mile off, we're still going to hit that target, it's 4 foot by 4 foot. So we'll eyeball the left and right, that's going to be fairly close. The, the up and down we're going to shoot the first shot and, and see where it lands and then from there I'll explain to you which way you have to move your sight to get your arrows to hit behind the pin. So we're going to go ahead and fire our first shot here. Left and right was pretty much dead on, however the, the up and down was extremely far off from 10 yards I'm probably seven or eight inches low so on any sight on a bow what you want to do is follow your arrow so I hit low now I'm gonna move my sight low and it's gonna bring the point of impact up to where it needs to be um, there's no real uh, measurement or anything you can do it's kind of trial and error and once you do it long enough you get an idea of where things need to move and how far they need to move. So uh, at 10 yards, you have to move the pin quite a bit to make a difference on the impact. The further out you go, so if you're shooting 40 yards and you're hitting that low, you only have to move it maybe a fifth of what you do um, being up this close. So we're gonna drop this thing down. Now I hit low, so I move my pin lower. See what happens on this one. All right, that brought it up quite a bit. Um, we're still just a hair low there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it down just a little bit more now and see if we can't put one in the center. Our left and right we eyeballed it and it looks like it's pretty much right where it needs to be but if you did hit to the left or to the right you would still follow your arrow so if your arrow hit to the left you would move your sight to the left if you hit to the right you move your sight to the right um, it's the same principle so basically if you just chase your arrow you'll end up sighting a bow in let's see if we got it fixed yet pretty much on the scribe there. So there's a simple way um, we sighted a bow in, in in three shots. Your, your top pin is always the closest distance. So what you'll have, you know, if, if I was setting this up, I would do 20, 30, 40, and 50 yards on this site. So the what I'm trying to say is whatever pin or whatever distance you want your, your closest distance set to be, that's what you use your top pin for. And the further you go down, the further out those pins are going to be for. So just something to keep in mind. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us a comment and we'll be glad to answer them. Have a good day.